Well, here we are, the market's still being quite firm, despite the fact that we don't have a resolution of the debt ceiling or the funding as yet. But there's a lot more warm words being said on the Hill uh, and in Congress uh, and the Senate. So, you know, we've all been thinking there must be a resolution at some point. I still remain a little bit cautious of just where that will be. I'm still a little bit concerned that we're going to get another uh, wave of disappointment, if you like. So look, buy stocks, but cautiously, good names, good quality, the stocks that you want to keep for a long term, just in case there's another dip in the next day or two. Uh, and if there is, add to the portfolio. I have no doubt this is a major bull market that's going to go a lot higher. It's just that I still think there's a chance the markets could suffer uh, another disappointment, if you like, in terms of getting close to a deal done. Then it goes for a vote, but you know, perhaps a few Republicans think they'll they'll look strong to their own constituents, their own particular constituents, if they um, vote no, not realizing that if a lot of people think the same way, uh, the law won't be passed and we'll have a big disappointment uh, for not only the markets but for the world. So uh, fingers crossed, things are looking a little bit better on the hill. Keep buying generally for your long-term investments. Buy a little more aggressively in the short term, but I'm prepared to let the market get away a little bit before I go too aggressively chasing this market higher. I have no doubt that in the long term the Dow Jones index is going to 20,000. I've had that call for a couple of years now. No, see no reason to change that. Uh, this is, if you like, the last hiccup in what will turn into quite an accelerating market to the upside. Thank you.